What's going on guys, Killer6 and I'm back with another unique item guide for Borderlands the pre-sequel. This is episode 12 of my unique items guide and today we're looking at the Plunkett Sniper Rifle. The version I have has the Tum Tum prefix which increases critical hit damage but this gun spawns with a variety of prefixes each with different attributes that will increase or decrease the following stats. At level 60, the stats on mine break down like this. 20,267 base damage, 97.5% accuracy, 0.6 fire rate, 4 second reload speed, a mag size of 6, and since this is a Jacob's gun, this will never spawn with any element. Now the red text says, make sure they know the first one wasn't an accident, which I honestly haven't the slightest idea what this is in reference to. If you guys know, then let me know in the comments below. But I originally thought the name of the sniper rifle was a reference to the film Plunkett and McLean, but I see absolutely no correlation between them to make that connection. I can only assume that Plunkett is someone working for 2K Australia, or perhaps a reference to any number of historical figures that were named Plunkett. The Plunkett can only be obtained in the Holodome DLC as a reward for completing any of the rounds. The Plunkett is a bolt-action Jacob sniper rifle that has very high damage and accuracy, but with very slow reload and a low magazine size. This is one of the rare items that has white flavor text that gives you additional properties on the gun. In this case, that text reads, Critical hits remove bullets directly from your ammo pool instead of the weapon. As you can see here, when I score a critical hit, the ammo replenishes itself from my excess ammo pool and not from my clip. This allows highly accurate snipers to continuously land devastating criticals without fear of their limited ammo supply. So my verdict on this gun, it is a very good sniper rifle with excellent damage and a very interesting and useful special ability. This one is definitely worth the effort it takes to acquire it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please take a second to click that like button and hit subscribe for more unique and legendary item reviews. Post suggestions in the comments below for other items you'd like for me to cover. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Take care.